Now y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. What's the deal? What's the deal, yo? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for another episode of Yes for the Mess, and we're here to talk about Lamar Odom and his baby mama, Basketball Wives star Liza Morales. But I don't think she's on a new season of Basketball Wives this upcoming season because she was boring as hell, and all she wanted to talk about was Lamar, 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 Lamar. <sighs> Now, as you guys already know, if you did see the last season of Basketball Wives, which was probably the lowest rated season in history of Basketball Wives, um, Liza was on the show and she was constantly complaining to Evelyn and Shawnee and anybody that would listen about Lamar and his <laughs> lack of funding the child support, okay? She said that she needed the money because Lamar, Lamar ain't doing shit with it, okay? He is not doing his part um, as a father. He ain't doing shit. That's what Liza said, okay? So at this point, he owes her damn near $400,000 in child support, and how the hell he gonna pay for it? Well, we got an article here from the jasminebrand.com. For those of you who are just not tuning in, y'all already know when I do Yes for the Mess, I always get to cite my sources because I do not believe in taking nobody's work without giving them their credit for it, okay? So... Without any further ado, let's get into the article. Y'all already know I'm going to read the article, give y'all my thoughts, and y'all leave y'all down below. Let's get into it. Lamar Odom just suffered a major loss in court. A judge has ordered the former Los Angeles Lakers star to pay Liza Morales, the mother of his two children, nearly $400,000 in child support and other expenses related to their now adult children, Destiny, who is 23, and Lamar Jr., who is 19. He also put her and their child... At no, her and their children at risk of eviction as he failed to pay payments on the apartment in the lower Manhattan where they live. Liza Morales first sued Lamar Odom back in May, alleging that he stopped honoring a 2015 agreement for support in June 2020. She was granted a default judgment last month after he failed to show up in court. On July 20th, Manhattan Supreme Court Justice Matthew Cooper Subsequently, I hope I said that right, ordered Lamar Odom to pay Liza Morales $380,549,000 in child support, back rent, college tuition, and her legal fees associated with the case. The details of the order became public yesterday on July the 29th. He has until the end of the day, today, which is July the 30th, to purchase a life insurance policy valued at $1 million with Morales as the beneficiary. Lamar Odom has not publicly responded to the order, but he did take issue with Judge Cooper's previous default judgment against him, pointing out that his and Morales' children are now adults. It was previously speculated that Odom made $40,000 from a celebrity fight with Aaron Carter and Judge Cooper reprimanded Odom for missing the court date. He said, if Mr. Odom is in good shape to participate in a boxing match, he's certainly in a good enough shape to abide by his obligations to support his children as set forward in the settlement agreement. I will just offer the observation that if Mr. Odom wants to have a brand that means anything, it should be one where the person behind the brand pays to support his children and doesn't leave his children in danger of being evicted. If Mr. Odom received money from his celebrity match, I'm sure you'd want to get a judgment so you can take action as soon as possible. Now, Lamar Odom did a reaction on Instagram and it said, um... This right here. Back in the news on some bullshit. 
I never air out my personal business because it's personal, but I have had enough. I was never married to my kid's mother. I took care of her from the second she became pregnant, and even after I was married, I still paid her bills. I am not responsible for a grown-ass woman. Once my children became adults, my duties were done. I told her to go to work. Move into an affordable home and she didn't listen, and that is not on me. The news, the media, the public loves to vilify a man calling him a deadbeat and say how terrible he is as a man, but what about a woman who refuses to get off on her ass and make a living for herself? She is just as responsible for taking care of the kid. She is just as responsible of take, for taking care of our now adult children as I was. So why isn't she held to the same standard? Enough is enough. I do not get pension for the NBA until I'm 46. I do not own the CBD line and I did not get paid 40k for celebrity boxing. Am I working? Yes. Am I building a solid brand? Yes. Do I send my kids money monthly? Hell yes. Do I support Liza? No. And I shouldn't be made to either. So I will have my day in court. I was never served papers to appear and I will be filing an injunction to this bitter judge's order. To all the women out there who are mothers taking care of their kids, I salute you. To all the fathers who take care of their kids but receive no credit, I feel you and I salute you too. To the Liza's who sit on their asses expecting a handout, who lie and manipulate their children, who use their children as pawns, who create Create stories and scenarios to attract attention. May you seek healing and counseling for your brokenness. You need it. Hashtag Lamar Odom. Hashtag Father. Hashtag Fatherhood Journey. Hashtag Sober Life. Hashtag Sober Living. Hashtag Happiness. Hashtag, hashtag The Devil Is Alive. Hashtag Won't Stop Can't Stop. Hashtag Lakers. Hashtag Miami Heat. Hashtag Keep Grinding. Hashtag God Knows. Hashtag God Sees. Hashtag Growth. Hashtag Kobe Bryant. Hashtag Atlanta. Hashtag Miami. And that was the article from the JasmineBrand.com about Lamar Odom having to pay Liza $400,000 in child support. And I'm just going to say this because I'm not fully equipped to speak on something like this, but I can only go by what I've seen in my own personal life. Now, my dad was on child support for most of my life, but he did not pay. But when I got, when my sister was in college, by the time he had back child support that he owed, okay? And it came out of his check when my sister was like 19 or 20. See, I was far beyond the age, so I could not receive it. However, you those kids will receive their child support until they're 21. Now, I get exactly where he's coming from in a sense. I mean, I, I guess he feels as though he only owes his kids um, to take care of them. He feels like he should not have to take care of Liza, and that is true. I mean... I feel like Liza should get up and get a job. When she did get up and get a job, it brought her ass to the basketball wives and she didn't do shit with the opportunity. But, you know, I, I mean, I think it was noble of him to pay her bills even after he got married to somebody else. He was still paying her bills, putting her in the house. I, I mean, I guess Liza feels as though because she has his kids, he's obligated to put her in the house. He's obligated to pay her bills, making sure that they're not in the dark and all of this other stuff. So I'm guessing that's how, how she feels. But he feels like he's only here for the kids and the kids only. And those are the only people he needs to take care of. And it's just... I don't know. Um, he feels like he's not obligated to take care of no grown-ass woman. At the end of the day, you should not be taking care of a grown-ass woman. You should be taking care of your children. You know what I mean? And Liza has an... Um, Liza should... You know, I guess she... I don't know. I mean, he says that she has the same responsibility to take care of the kids as well. It's not just on him. It's on her, too. But are you a deadbeat? Because I don't know much about you, Lamar. So are you a deadbeat? I know my women in my comment section can let me know what he really is. Because I can only tell you what I see. And I just want to talk about that. Because all lies I talked about on Basketball Wives was Lamar, Lamar, Lamar. That's all she talked about. All she talked about was that child support money. And the fact that he got to come out of pocket for $400,000 just to pay her ass. Lord have mercy. But Lamar, if you stop paying child support, then you do owe her that money. That's just real talk. If you stop paying child support, you owe her that money. I know you don't want to give it to her, but you owe it to her. It's just, that's just what it is. You owe her that money, give her her money. 
That's all I'm saying. Because ultimately, it's really not about the kids. It's, 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 I mean, it's not about you nor Liza. It's really about the kids. So, like I said, if you stop paying child support at one point in time, then you need to go ahead and get as good her money. Because that's what she want the good, want her money, get a good her money. You know what I'm saying? Get a good her money. That's all I'm saying. Because if I'm so I want my motherfucking money too. You know, like, straight up, I want my money. I ain't finna sit up here and lie to you. I want my money too. So just give her money. You know, like I said, because if I'm not mistaken in the article, you, this is back child support. That's what you also give it to her. But, like I said, I know there's a lot of mothers that watch me. There's a lot of women that watch me. So, stand me corrected in that comment section. Let me know if I'm wrong for what I said. Give your opinions. Because I am definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys got to say in that comment section. I swear to God I am. This is the one time where I'm not scared of my comment section. I want to see what y'all got to say. Because I'm not a parent, so I really don't know. But... Y'all can enlighten me on that. You know what I mean? But this is my episode of Yes for the Mess. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Do whatever you see fit. Before I go, um, special shout outs to Bondi Blue. As I said on my last review, as you guys already know, Bundy Blue's channel was taken down. Um, she is now doing her content from her backup channel, which is called Relax with Blue. So be sure to subscribe to Relax with Blue and all of that good stuff, okay? With that being said, you guys, your boy is out of here. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Peace out. We can always find our way to a fun moment, even in the shady bunch.